Okay, so we're just going to demonstrate muscle testing. So um, I'd like someone, possibly, who's never been muscle tested before. <laughs> yeah, anybody. Okay, I've plenty of guys. Okay. And you are? Julie. Julie. Okay. Josie. Jolie. <laughs> so just turn you that way around. So what we're going to do is dousing, you're just using your body energy. Yeah, to assess what's needed. Muscle testing, you're using your energy, but you're also using that of your client, right? So although muscle testing is sometimes a little harder to learn initially, it's got an advantage, the fact that it's not just your energy, you're actually accessing that of your client. Okay, so um, muscle testing is a word that is difficult, but that's how it's come to be known. But actually, you're not actually testing the strength, right? So I'm going to ask Jolie just to put her arm up straight, right? And I'm going to be muscle testing her, I'm going to, just to see, um, set up the energy in her body anyway. And it's a very gentle process of just pressing down on somebody's use arm or muscle, whatever you use it, until you feel resistant, <laughs> and then stop it. Okay? <laughs> right? So, and this is actually how I would do it. If I was exploring and getting ready to work with her, I first of all check that she's got a muscle that works. In other words, it does work somewhere along the line. <laughs> okay? All right, now, what I'm going to do now is you just put your hand there. <clears throat> I'm going to deliberately weaken her system so you can see what it's like when the muscle testing goes into its no phase, if you like, or its negative phase. Oh, okay. <laughs> that feels strange. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Now I repeat it again. Okay, just, just, just relax. It's, that feels so weak. That very, very light, extremely yeah. light. So that's weak, yeah. very weak. And that's not so weak. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, actually, what I'm doing, what you can't see, is I'm actually on her back to deliberately weaken her to show you what it's like when you've got a, a negative test. I'm just placing one finger on a muscle. But if I put two fingers there, it actually strengthens. It's still not so weak. It's still maybe, mm. you can probably hold a little bit more, hold it up a bit more. That's it. Mm. That's it. Not so weak. So you see what happens is when the person's energy system is intact, any muscle I might use, I'm using this one just because it's a good one to demo, it stays strong, but as soon as there's a stressor applied, it's almost like the electrics, the body electrics breaks down and the muscle becomes weak. Okay. If you want to sit down, just try. We have somebody else. Because <laughs> when you're actually doing muscle testing and you're learning, this is what you do. <laughs> you, you actually try, you actually try with a lot of people. Because every, the interaction between me and my client is going to vary every single time. I have a different client. So, I do first of all, just make sure we have a muscle that works. So just hold your arm up for me a little bit. Okay. No, not quite as strong as that. <laughs> a bit less. That's fine. So just hold it to that sort of pressure, yeah? And again, if I deliberately weaken. Oh. <laughs> and I strengthen it back up again. Right, you can hold, just keep it the same, that's it. Yeah, you can feel the difference. Yeah, mm. it's weird actually. Yeah. Mm. Makes you feel sort of, yeah. Yeah, a little hot flush as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so the, the main thing with muscle testing, it's not a test of strength. I'm not <laughs> going like this. It's actually very gentle. You're saying it's actually very gentle. Yeah. Because what I'm actually testing, I'm testing the energy in the muscle. I'm not testing the, the physical strength. Okay. It's the energy flow in the muscle. So that's why it's like electrics. If you break it, the energy flow goes. So where are you pressing here then? So we I could, could do it anywhere. Anywhere, yeah. just, just do a pressure, yeah. yeah. Do it. Just a and jab in the ribs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could do it anywhere. <laughs> are you not doing a specific acupressure point? No. So w what is it that you're doing to make yeah. it go off balance? Is it just the touching the body? Oh, come on. 
that I found Queen's going to do something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, so just hold your arm up. Yeah. Yep. This is quite strong. So you don't have to be quite All as right. strong as that, but it's, it's okay. I'll be okay. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So put your hand over your tummy because that may, remember we said with tapping in the hand over the navel activates locks you in a bit more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do it again. Okay. Oh, what did you do? Ah, you get a spine. What I did was was another one of, of what they call the the. Um, <laughs> Could you undo that? Yes, I, 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 I did it straight away. A few. Yeah. Okay. Um, so so some of the the um, switching tests that we use to make sure that the person's body and your body are actually talking the same language and that you have first baseline. Okay, you'll hear people at shows going. Say yes, yes. Yeah, that's what I say. Saying. No, theoretically, but there actually are others that are more precise. And on some people, I was using one finger, two finger, but on you, I used yeah, uh, and then yeah. And what that does, it, it does the same sort of thing, but it just works on a slightly different level. And you can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm strong again, aren't I? Yes, okay, that's, that's what that is. Good. That, that's, that's, the, that's the putting it back together again. That's interesting. Yeah, so depending what muscles are um, appropriate, you know, if you know somebody terribly well, you can always pitch them on the backside. But, you know, but normally sort of the back, or if they're sat down, then, then the thigh. But you can do these, what we call the pretests, wherever. And it really is to lay down the foundations that our bodies understand yeah, without it? this getting without in the way. Yeah, so it's exactly mm. the same as doing a yes no pre test with the pendulum. You're yeah. establishing that you're getting a response and you're getting a, the opposite response and you're getting a neutral. Yeah. Yeah. But if you do any work and you don't do that, then whatever you've got is quite likely where you don't know the accuracy of it. Mm. Yeah. But if you know how to do the pre tests, and you make sure that you're grounded and balanced as well. Yeah. It means that the information that you get is useful and accurate. It's yeah. the same with dowsing. The thing is, there are a lot of, because things like dowsing and muscle testing are apparently quite easy to do, a lot of people have a bash and swing off arms and, and sort of push people around. And actually, it's very, very bad muscle testing because they're, they're, first of all, they don't realize that. that we're all the time we're influenced by everything around us. So if somebody is standing next to you thinking, well, this is going to make you go weak, or this is going to make you go strong, or oh, I bet you're allergic to this, then it's quite likely that you'll respond in a weakening way to that. Unless you have a Unless baseline have base set, which is, what, which is what we do. And the other thing is, it's good to practice, because, again, everybody's body's different. So it's like, I could have said, said to you, you know, don't have to be quite so strong. Yeah. But because the way that we teach to muscle is actually very gentle. Um, you know, it's um, and it's just using the energy of the muscle, not the actual physical. Okay. 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 Anyone else wants to <coughs> have a go? Come on, Ham, go on. Come on, go on. Oh, yes. okay. It's good if you'll have a go with Sue because we have yeah. to teach this in the second year. And if Sue's already <laughs> done it, then you yeah. make a large job <laughs> 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 Take that fear out of your voice. <laughs> okay. So you know that other game we play when we're showing people what muscle testing does? Mm. The zips. Can you do that now? Which one? The thing you put it there? Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah that means <laughs> yes. Right. Get the right camera. Okay. Not just it. Right. Okay, now do it, please. <laughs> what did he do to you, <laughs> Sam? Yeah, now turn it around the other way. <laughs> now that's how easily you can wreck somebody's energy. God. Just by looking at it. No, he no, wasn't. no, I was just thinking that oh, that violet purple doesn't suit you at all. Yeah, just <laughs> <so> <laughs> Yeah, and then I was thinking, yeah, that violet purple really suits you. <laughs> and it's just that. Oh, wow. That is enough. Do you know what? I, that, wow. that's, that is, that's what it is then, isn't it? When someone, you, yeah. you see a look of someone, yeah. you know yeah. they've given that a thought. That happened to be Friday in the shop. See, the thing, it's not a problem because no, usually 
we that goes on all the time and we just yeah. we just balance and relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if we get stuck in a phase where we're yeah. talking, oh, <coughs> yeah, it can really um mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No difference. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's so cool. <laughs> So when you when you start practicing yourself, the, the key is to okay. is that, that difference between the muscle being firm and it going and there not being resistance there. You'll find that everybody has got completely different levels of strength, but it's not down to that. It's down to where the the resistance is. So if I do that, I'm going to do that. I missed it the first time. Yeah, then you got it the second time. Yeah. Oh, I don't have my hand on my phone. That's all right. Doesn't it? It just yeah. yeah. And that's yeah, it's very subtle. It's though, very subtle. Yeah. Very, yeah. very subtle. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's but it's really hard for me to not try and go. Yeah, it yes. is. It is the key. The key yeah. is the and subtlety of it. Yeah. And the thing yeah. is, is that when we're using this, this mu this set, it's not one muscle. It's a bank of muscles down here. This is actually for practice and for visible practice. When you're actually using it as a therapist, you wouldn't be doing that. Yeah, mm -hmm. we we teach you to use other muscles as a therapist, but it's a good one for demo and to get you used, because everybody can see what's happening. Oops. Okay. Right. Yep. No. Not tummy muscles. Yeah. That's just the arm first of all. Okay. okay. Just hold the arm gently. You'll notice as well that when I'm pushing down, my thumb's out of the way, it's the flat of the hand. I haven't got the thumb underneath. Right, so it's, it's keeping the whole energy tidy, okay? Yeah, yeah. feel the difference? Very clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's if you've not if you've not been muscle tested, it's it's re really good to to have the advantage <laughs> with muscle <laughs> testing. Yes, that was very good. Max, do you want to have a go? Do you want to have a go, Max? Yeah. Yeah. Then you've had a feel. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. That's okay. Hold up. Yeah. Hand over tummy button. <laughs> Fighting it. <laughs> yeah. And you see, actually, thanks, Max, because Max's re reaction, even though she was, was a lot more dramatic than some other people's, and this is why it's so good to be able to have a group to practice on, because it's getting to realise that everybody's energy is different, and the feel of being tested, you know, or you testing it, is very different. And, and yours is uh, like it stays and it goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's good. So the the key to the advantage of muscle testing is that first of all, it's a magic trick that people think you are. Oh, look! It's doing something weird. It goes off. <laughs> <laughs> but more than that, that, that when you're using that system, is that the body that you, the client's body is is familiarising itself with getting feeling what it's like to be balanced. Mm -hmm. So that even if you're just running through the pretests like you would do when you were going into a session, that itself balances the whole body. Mm -hmm. And the body, the client's body gets used to that state of balance. So that it's not thrown out so easily by evil stares or comments or <laughs> advertis advertisements or this colour juxtaposed to that colour or anything else that sort of like would energetically be a ugh. But the thing is, it's being energetically weakened, like we did earlier on, <laughs> is normal because the body recovers. Yeah. But when the body doesn't recover, because it doesn't know what it should be feeling like to be at a healthy balance, that's when things start going progressively wrong and disease appears. And that's really the, the advantage of, of having a regular visit to something like a crystal therapist because the body gets familiar with that state of balance and maintains it longer over time and so it becomes more resilient to pressures. 
the, the advantage is all to do with information and knowledge and what to do with the information. Everything is energy information. You've got to know what's useful and what's not useful. And if you're chattering, if you've got too much noise in your own system and your system isn't quiet enough, then you don't really know what's useful and what's not useful. And from a therapist client point of view, if you as the therapist have got nice smooth energies, then it doesn't really matter so much what you do. As soon as somebody comes into your space, their body will think, woo, nice. And it'll start to <laughs> encourage that energy balance in them as well. So it's important that we maintain our energy equilibrium on as many different levels as possible. And muscle testing is a really, really useful way because you can identify precisely what is strengthening and what is weakening. And that's the key, really. It's, it's a clear indication of this is good, this is bad. Do this, don't do that. Yeah. Use this mm -hmm. stone, don't use that stone. But, but compared finished, to, not finished. Compared to dowsing, it's not just you that's involved. You're directly communicating with your client's body all the yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Can you affect muscle testing like you can dowsing then? You, yeah. you, you can, but, it, it, but it's like it, it takes a little, you know, it it's takes a little bit more... It's, it's yeah. more bad muscle testing you can. With, yeah. with mm -hmm. the good muscle testing, with the pre-test and things, you establish and those that, that clear boundaries. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So can I just have you back a bit? Because you just now you saw what happened when someone was very, very critical of your life. Very critical. <laughs> 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 okay. So, her name is Abel. Just make sure that everything's working. All right. Yeah. Now, I'm going to ask Sai to do the same again, right? But this time, you know what's going to happen, all right? Back it up. Okay. Okay. Okay, so he's just done it, but this time it didn't weaken you. Right. Well done! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the point is that if you're walking down the street, yeah, be aware. You be aware that people will be mm. critical of you, and if you're aware of it, yeah. punch them before they do it. Yeah, it, it doesn't weaken you. If you're aware of that, in other words, if you're protected, supported, when you're aware, it doesn't weaken you. But if you're caught off balance with something like that, then that's the effect it has on the body, is it weakens mm. the body temporarily. Mm. Thank you. I remember a friend... Behind positive thought. <laughs> 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 I think he enjoyed that more than you did. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I think that's a useful thing. I mean, that's the party trick we show for people, mm. usually when we're talking about protection and support. You know, as people say, well, why do you, you, know, why do you need to be aware? Why do you need protection? We're not easy. We can show you that just a thought... Well, I had a friend who didn't like going into town because she used to say, she used to say everybody's staring at me and they think I'm awful. And I yeah. used to be like, hun, you don't think they think you're nice? Because she's attractive and bubbly. But yeah. You know, that could have the same effect. Yes, on exactly. You. Mm -hmm. It's either positive, it can either. Mm -hmm. But it's recognising that, that that's the norm normality of, de of walking around. Yeah. with other people but she she was attractive from women other women yeah women that are quite, she she yeah, is, yeah you know? can get that yeah. 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 yeah yeah but then all you need to think is you know um i know they might be thinking that but they won't be thinking then the iron or ethos and mm. yeah, that's it. yeah so it's a level of reality or, mm. but it's interesting that if you're caught off guard like you were because you didn't know what was coming yeah. is that how it weakens you and so it can show you. Can you use your own muscles to muscle test or does it have to be somebody else? Yeah, I mean, muscle, muscle testing with somebody else, I mean, obviously a therapy situation, that is really useful from the client's point of view mm. as well as your own. I mean, one of the things we do teach you is self-testing um, within ICGT. And, uh, and this is one that you can do your yes-nos like you do with your pendling or what have you. But sometimes the brain takes it off, just doesn't get it. So you can actually hotwire these into you if you find it very hard. Now, one of the easiest ones is creating a circle and a circle. And yes is when it holds, and no is when you can pull them apart. Yeah, so it's just... You've got to do it with your body and not your brain, really. Yes, keep no. your brain out of it if yeah. you can. Which is why when you're initially you're learning, you might have to go, yes, this is yes, this is yes, this is yes, this is no, this is no, until your, your brain actually gets it. Another one which is slightly, slightly stronger in a way is your thumb and little finger together, and then you're using your other uh, thumb and forefinger to separate that, and because that's quite a strong muscle in the hand, 
yes, the yes and no is very yeah. clear. Strongest, strongest finger. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And I actually, I show when I do this, is I, I, I actually flick them apart. Mm. You know, like you're, yeah, yes, no. But yeah. it's not the question of it being sort of where. <laughs> it's just it sort of it holds and it doesn't hold. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be a, a strength of will or force. You know, it's mm. not again. It's not to do with strength. It's to do with what holds them. But I mean, if you if you wanted to discover what vitamins or minerals you want under health shot, going around with a pendulum is probably not particularly seemly. <laughs> but you can probably <laughs> sort of go around doing doing sort of self muscle testing. And there's another one. That's, I mean, you can use any muscles. Mm. I mean, the person who taught me muscle testing um, used to use that muscle, yes, no. Mm. And her teacher used to use his big toe. <laughs> used, to, used to run his big toe over and press down on, on mm. the box. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so it's, it's basically, you can, you can use it. Three <laughs> surreptitious, though. <Yeah. laughs> but it, but it's, it's, it's like with the dancing, you see, yeah. is, that, is that all it is is a, a way of showing what's going on yeah. already on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she said she hadn't done those two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, the, the other one that's a great favourite is, you know, the mo the money one. You know, oh. when you know when people say all oh, money, why if it's if it's a yes response, you can do that quite easily. If it's a no response, it gets sticky. Mm. Ah, okay. Mm. Yeah. And a lot of people really mm. like that one. Yeah, that's a yeah. Yeah. I like that one because it, it's almost like my brain going, I didn't do this. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's also as well as you can really do that quite no never. So yes yeah. is easy. Yeah. Is it no, no is it gets sticky. a little bit sticky. Yeah. Can you use it, because I've done a little bit of like yeah. ridding my crystals recently, it just went off of my yeah. daughter, and I put the, the burial man's his stone head, she couldn't use the pendulum because it was just flying everywhere, so it was yeah. just like intuition. So could I be used yeah. muscle testing yeah. for yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. self-testing. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, but you know, quite a lot of people like that because, yeah. it, because it's easy. Mm. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay, any other questions on muscle testing? No, I'm going to try that one, though. I'm going to be learning it in a second. <laughs> um, you, learn, you learn how to, how to have a muscle test. Um, you learn doing this one. When you actually um, start working with it, you'll be doing um, some of the other yeah, smaller yeah. smaller muscles yeah. that, are, that are much stronger and actually easier to work. You'll find, I mean, people do find that, yeah, when, when, <laughs> when they do start muscle testing, there's, start. there's a degree of sort of uh, lack of confidence, which immediately throws the energies out anyway. Mm. So it does take a while to get used to it. But when, if you get used to muscle testing, and particularly once you go on to doing the specific techniques which use muscle testing, it's very, uh, it's much easier on it to do the actual uh, techniques using muscle testing than often than dowsing. Yeah, yeah. And also doing those techniques it usually is the point where it can't, the body goes, oh, yes, yes, I can do this. This, this works really easily, I can do mm -hmm. this. Really? So don't be too concerned if at first you feel anxious and you can't tell the difference between weak, strong or whatever. I think when you do it, when you're actually doing a technique, you're sort of concentrating on the technique so yeah. the muscle testing comes yeah. easier, yeah. doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Do you know yeah. And the other thing I would say is when you are practicing, um, family is the worst to practice on. Mm. Yeah, Why? I can't muscle test James. No, no, Why no. not? Because he's a player anyway. No, and really, he tries yeah. to play it, and, and it yeah. all gets really like. Well, don't oh forget my God. The, <laughs> the advantage is you're making a good link with somebody. But with family, that can be a disadvantage. You're already very tightly linked. Yeah, you, exactly. You? you know, so it's like you no know, pendulum. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was thinking, oh my God, I can't show anybody else how to do it. Exactly. It's James. It's family is. You know, yeah, I mean, practice in a, in a light-hearted way, but don't take it seriously, because you just won't get and anywhere. And it depends what your fam family members are, and your relationships are like. I mean, with some members of your family, it might be easy, but with others, it might not. Well, this depends, well, again, it depends on how close you are. Yeah, yeah, family and family it also family. depends on what the, the hierarchy, power hierarchy is. <laughs> I mean, parents well, are usually not a good way. idea, <laughs> whereas, whereas partners might be okay. Yeah. Parents and sort of like... My dad's favorite game play? as we were kids was to try and get your hand off his head, so I know he'd just be like that. Constantly. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time I worked on my mum, I, I, I worked at her place. I had awful trouble, and then I sussed. I had to get her into my therapy room. 
Um, I was yeah. the one in charge. Yeah. That was all right then. <laughs> but as I said, it's hierarchy. Mm. Once I could take the rug out, I was, I was okay. It's like yeah. the first time I did <laughs> reflexology on my dad, I was like, relax, dad. And he's going, I am. <laughs> no, you're not, Dad. I am. <laughs> Dad, you're not. How do you know? I went, this is relaxed. This isn't. <laughs> <It's not hard. laughs> yeah, so, so, yeah, so when you get to practicing, yeah, mm. friends maybe, but, you know, don't be too serious about family. But the thing is, <laughs> the, the, the advantage that muscle testing gives you over other therapies, alone other crystal therapies, is humongous. It's a, it's a huge um, advantage. Not just for the techniques, but also because it gives you a, a protocol for working, which allows you to do whatever you like mm -hmm. and check whatever you like at an energetic level. That's mm -hmm. how appropriate it is. Yeah, you're Di not, directly with your client. Yeah, yeah. you're yeah. not, you're, you, yeah. you, once you've got confidence in dowsing and muscle testing, then you can use anything that you've got available as a healing tool because you can always check and double check and find out how effective something has been. It's always like we were talking about with the homeopaths is that what they do, the homeopathy is really good, but the way that they're taught to use it, the classical way, is crap because you can't, you've got, you're guessing all the time. You, you're just using your intellect yeah. to find out well, does this person need this or that? Or that? Oh, yeah. Is it, is it and they, pattern matching? There's, there's, yeah. no, yeah. there's no protocol for, do, for actually checking before somebody takes yeah. something whether it's going to have an effect or not. Isn't the EFT, some, some EFT techniques, they don't use the muscle testing anymore. Well, no, uh, well, no, with, with, no. They, they, there, are, there are lots of hybrid yeah. things that have been taken out of mm. yeah. the, the big area of kinesiology. Yeah. And made into specialist things, yeah. but they've a lot of them have taken out all the safety nets yeah. and just go for the quick fixes, mm. which seems to be very good. But we know that quick fixes are not particularly they very have, quick they or have, very they fixing. They have the price that comes with them, mm. and quick fix will often produce a healing crisis, price, yeah. Yeah. which is okay. Um, but the the drawback, I mean, particularly from two people who sort of trained in kinesiology in its bigger whatever. The drawback with, with the, the quick fixes is that sometimes the healing crisis can last a long time mm. and they're very difficult to undo, even with what we know. But it's, it's but the thing is, I don't think they even probably teach the idea of a healing crisis no. because their therapy is meant to be so effective. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, Safe and harm. Yeah. Yeah. We, we see what it does is it, it's the, it does the Jenga, you know, yeah. the, the thing that you did. Yeah. It, it does the Jenga mechanism. and. I mean, we've had students on crystal courses that have taken the most best part of one year to actually get over the healing crisis. Mm. The thing is, with that sort of method, it's it's like taking a six-year-old and expecting it to to use logic and do the right thing when you give it a choice. Mm. And that's somehow some of those techniques go to that level of the body. And expect it to come up with the goods that are sensible and safe for it to do. Whereas the body will just go for what it wants, regardless of what's safe, appropriate, or whatever. Mm. whatever. So it's like it's taking away that level of responsibility that a therapist should be using to make sure that something is safe and and, and helpful, not just I want it and I want it now. Sort of. Yeah. I mentality. mean, I mean, one of the things of remo sorry removing blocks that we're doing in July mm. is showing you how you can use some of the, the simple things of belief systems but when using them with, within a crystal layout mm. is you build in the other set the safety mm. and others crystals can build in the safety for you <coughs> as a, as a in, in itself so <coughs> the things we're looking at thank you. so um, thank, thank you, you. Yeah. Mm. Oh, switch off now. okay sorry okay. Me never to the back, but it was, that was just right. a, quite appropriate for, for that. Was um, 